Well, Chef Bob is over here to my left grilling, and maybe you did a little bit too much grilling this holiday weekend. Ashley Bergamino, fitness director at One Life Fitness, she's going to tell us how to get our diets back on track and maybe show us a few moves so we can get going again this week. Burn off Welcome. some of those calories. Burn off some of the calories, exactly. Yep. So what's the first step to doing that? Well, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of a circuit-style workout. Okay. We're going to keep you moving, okay. keep your heart rate up, keep those calories scorching off your body. And it's scorching out here. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is not the ideal weather to be doing this. Do this inside. Inside, preferably. Yes. Okay. So this is something they can do over and over again, what you're about to show us? Yep. All right. So we'll run through it. First thing we're going to do is a push-up. All right. Let's see it. All right. Beginners, you can come down on your knees, hands uh, shoulder width apart. More advanced, you can come up on your feet. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to drop down. 90 degree angle with your elbows, come back up. Looks exactly the same from the beginner position. So when people, when I say, hey, I use my knees to do push-ups, that's not really wimpy. It's, no, it's not wimpy at all. It's the task. All right. Yep. Then I'm using my knees. Too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm coming down. How many of these would you normally do? Not how many am I doing now? Normally, I would start with one set of 15 and okay. see where you feel after that. Okay. So we're one, just going to have you do like five. Two. Three. three Four, Four whoo, and, and five. five. Now, from that position, you can go straight into our next exercise. What is that? It's called a mountain climber. Okay. This is a little bit of cardio, also some lower back and abdomen. So start up in this position, tuck one knee in, quick switch, quick switch. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that's going to definitely get your heart rate up. Oh, absolutely. So this is a good substitute if maybe you don't have a treadmill at home or anything like that. Just do a couple of these mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, yeah. All yep. right. So I'm here. Yep. And Bring just... one knee in. Good. Quick switch. Good job. Two. Woo! Hello. And three. That's my mic. And Hello. four. <laughs> and five. Good job. I feel like I'm getting a workout today. Yep. And it's only been two exercises into it. Guaranteed sweat out here. <laughs> Guaranteed sweat. All right. Next, we're going to do a little bit of abdomen. All right. So from the mountain climber, you'll flip over on your back. One leg straight across the ground. Okay. One hand behind your head. You're going to come up and in. Elbow to your knee and down. Okay. We would do 15 on each side. So Holy switch. smokes. And that gets every part of your abdomen. Girl, that is a workout. Yes, ma'am. So I'm watching you do this, though. It looks very similar to the bicycle. Yep. Okay. More advanced, you can take that other leg off the ground. Take it off the ground like that? Yep. Holy moly. No, we're going to go with the <laughs> initial one. Okay, so just okay. one? Like that? Yep, absolutely. Two. Two. Three. Ah, the only thing to make crunch. sure of is you're not pulling on your neck, which you're not. So okay. you're doing a good job. I definitely you can feel it in your obliques here. Yep. And the other side? Yep, other Ooh, side. One. I'm getting a little sweat. Two. Yes, I am. I don't even have to go to the gym today. <laughs> this is great. All the holiday calories are melting off as we speak. Five. Good job. And bam. One for good luck. All right. All right. Now up. Next thing we're going to do, total body workout. Oh, grab no. a small set of hand weights, or you can grab some water bottles, soup cans, whatever you got handy. Like it. Yep. Feet hip width apart, mm -hmm. palms facing forward. We're going to do a squat and a curl. So you're going to squat down, curl up with your hands. Now, when you're down, you want to make sure you're looking straight ahead, you're not tipping forward, and your knees aren't shooting past your toes. You're sitting back, almost like you're sitting in a chair. Sitting back. All right. Let's do All a couple right. of these, and we got to get to the next exercise quick, but... Stand like short length part. Okay. And yep. Curl up. Perfect. But did you hear that? Perfect. I feel like this could be a Kelly can. <laughs> Kelly can do some Kelly squats. cans. <laughs> Woo -wee. Good All job. Right. All right. What last do we got next? one. Last one. You can keep the weights. Okay. We're gonna do a side lunge okay. to a press. So bring the weights up here. Palms forward. Step out with your leg. Lunge down. Press overhead. Come back to center. Step out with your other leg. And press. Yep. The this more fluid the motion bit. you make Coordination. it. Coordination. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter what kind of weights you use. They can be heavier. Yep. They can be lighter. Heavier. They can be light. It's you want to try to challenge yourself. So if you have heavier weights at home, absolutely grab them. Fantastic. Well, this is a lot of good information, and I believe after doing a lot more of these, it's probably going to be a great workout. Yes. So make sure you try it out at home. And where can Hampton Roads find more of you? We can be seen on www.onelifefitness.com. I work at the Greenbrier location. We also have a Facebook page, so come and check us out. Fantastic. Thanks so much for being here today, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs>